Hey everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. I'm Blake, and I'm here with Connor. Hello there. And Matt. That's me. Once again, and we are reading Fan Letters, a national treasure fanfic by Riley Pool 27 mm. And we are reading chapters yeah. 5 and 6. Uh. <laughs> For the next few hours, Ben Riley and Peter explored the tunnels. Oh, who's Ben Riley? New character, Ben Riley. Yeah. I've never heard of him before. They use the blueprints as a guide to finding their way through the labyrinth of corridors branching off into each different direction. You know, I hate and to keep some breaking into the same up. direction. I hate to keep breaking this up, but uh, that's not a labyrinth, Connor. Peter showed them all the tunnels that he and Matthew had already explored. They had marked each tunnel with chalk so they would know which one still needed to be searched. <laughs> well, I'm glad there's no moisture in here to wash away that chalk. Hopefully they drag the line down the whole thing. It's you know? a dry cave, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a dry cave. <laughs> oh my god. By the afternoon, Riley was starting to feel hungry. <laughs> oh, that Riley. Oh, Riley, that very Riley. hungry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he retraced his steps Silly. back to where Ben and Peter were kneeling on the ground, <laughs> studying the blueprints. It? <laughs> what? Yeah, he walked off in search of a Taco Bell. <laughs> He's, He's like, like, man, I know they gotta have one around here somewhere. They got them everywhere. Come on, man. McDonald's is everywhere. There's gotta be one down here. You know you what know? I mean? Hang I could on. go for a McRib. <laughs> he would He, he would eat the fucking McRib. <laughs> Riley would eat the fucking McRib. <laughs> eat the McRib, Riley. Uh, they had already searched six corridors, betaween the three of them, mm. running their hand along the stone walls, trying to feel any hidden buttons or symbols to indicate where the book was hidden. <laughs> oh man, it's oh, man, all falling apart now. We got labyrinth life is, between. Life is just like an adventure game, you know? Yeah, Beto yeah. Betaween labyrinth, labyrinth. It's all falling apart. Yep. It's all falling apart on us. Riley sat down beside Ben, tucking his hands inside his hoodie sleeves to warm them up. I'm hungry. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. <laughs> My name's Riley Poole, and I'm a huge bitch. <laughs> Can I have a Mike's Hard Lemonade? Yeah, he muttered. That's the voice I'm going to do for Riley, because that's Papers. what he's like. <laughs> yeah. He muttered, watching them pour over the papers. Ben was drawing small X's on the areas they had already covered. Neither of them really paid him much attention <laughs> as he stood up and started walking down the hallway. <laughs> Not even the characters. Our hero. Was like he wasn't contributing. Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Fuck, sorry. He's the hero. I'm going to meet you at the car. He told them over his shoulder. Once again, our hero. <laughs> Why did he even come down here? He's so useless. <laughs> so useless. Oh my god, this next sentence. God it didn't damn. take long before he realized that he was completely <laughs> lost. God damn it, Riley, you piece of shit. I feel like this is turning into a children's book or something. You know, you said at the end of it, Riley's going to learn to yeah, man up. Yeah, Riley, Riley Poole and being a bitch. Yeah. None of the hallways had chalk lines on the walls, and he didn't even know if he was going in the right direction. I should have been going in the left one. Yeah. When he tried to backtrack to get back to find Ben and Peter, he couldn't see anything familiar. Fuck, bro. Panic Come was on. starting to set in as he realized that he was completely alone, deep under Baltimore, with no way of contacting anyone. He didn't have a phone? He chided him. No, he chided himself for leaving his cell phone in Ben's car. God, <laughs> my God. So I knew far, I, this Riley's is so bad. He's like, I knew I should have brought my Dick Tracy walkie talkies. So far, Ry Riley's adventure kit seems to be his DS, and that's it. <laughs> no food, no lights, no phone. You know, this reminds me Who of Who needs I, that? You know, it'll be like, um... <laughs> that reminds me of when I was a kid, they had, um... Remember the Rescue Heroes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They had a thing where a kid brought along a Game Boy, and he, like, plugged an antenna into it and used it to send an SOS by playing video games. 
Damn, Riley <laughs> wishes he could do that. Yeah, I was about to say, Riley probably isn't that capable. <laughs> <laughs> he rushed down the corridor, feeling the rough-hewn stone wall with one hand as he held the flashlight in the other. Oh, I was expecting him to bring matches or something. His dick was bobbing around. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. The light was bobbing erratically in front of him as he ran, bouncing off the walls and the dirt floor. See, if you if you put if you put dick there, it sounds pretty yeah. bad. Yeah, it sounds it gets funnier <laughs> if you put dick in place of that. His flashlight. dick yeah. was bobbing erratically in front of him as he ran, bouncing, bouncing off, off the walls, walls and the floor. <laughs> but we keep going; it gets better. His left hand <laughs> gripped tightly around the dick, dick, shook slightly with fear as he quickly <laughs> sprinted down the hall. <laughs> yeah. so immature. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he had no idea how far Ben and Peter were, and his breathing was definitely quickening at an unhealthy rate as he thought Wait, about all the possible scenarios that could go wrong, mostly of him being stuck down in these tunnels forever and Ben finding the corpse of his dead friend. Implying Wait, Ben would even go looking. Man, whenever I see Ben and Peter, I think of Uncle Ben and Peter Parker. I'm just throwing me off. <laughs> No, Ben's just confirming the kill so that they can have a party back at his place. <laughs> the whole play D- Dance Dance Revolution, one player yeah, to, in his honor. <laughs> <laughs> Riley loved this game. What a little shit he was. He used to love to play it all by himself with nobody else around while we did research. Ben, <laughs> yeah. His overactive imagination brought forth all sorts of grisly and horrendous images to mind, which only spurred him to go faster. Hey guys, if you're ever lost in a cave, the best thing you can just do run. just start running as fast as you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say you gotta go fast, like Sonic the Hedgehog when you're stuck. That's how you get out. Ben, can you hear me? Nice. He called out, his voice echoing slightly against the stone wall. He heard no response. Suddenly, in a moment of clumsiness, one Riley of found many. himself running no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tripping over his own feet, he quickly pitched forward and hit the dirt floor with a painful crash. He can't even can't run. Even put one foot in front of the other. Yeah, <laughs> never mind walking and chewing bubble gum at the same time. You can't even walk. <laughs> his hands were torn up from trying to catch himself, and his left knee was bloodied as well. Well, fuck! It looks like he's a goner if his left knee is bloodied. Yeah, but aside from his slight injuries and his scuffed clothes. He now had another problem to deal with. The flashlight, which he dropped as he had been falling, now lay a few feet from him. If you replace that with dick, it becomes horrifying. <laughs> yeah, now it's a real horror story. <laughs> it's just sitting over there in the corner. He yanked his dick off as he fell, I guess. <laughs> That's why you as don't jerk Riley... off and run at the same time. As Riley lay on the ground, catching his breath... He watched in horror as the flashlight in front of him flickered for a few seconds before shutting down altogether. Riley was alone in the dark. A film by Uwe Boll. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. Shit! Riley shouted as he grabbed the light dick. and sat up. <laughs> grabbed the dick. Yeah, he was trying to pull his balls back out of his stomach, apparently. <laughs> His voice is going to be, like, so high-pitched you can't even hear it by the end of this chapter. He's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> this is the first story about someone turning back into a baby that I can actually believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he repeatedly pushed the on-off button with no results. Oh, no snap. He unscrewed the lid and took the batteries out and reassembled it, hoping it would continue working. That's how you Repla- fix a busted bulb, Re- replacing, everybody. Replacing batteries is the equivalent to reassembly for him. Yeah, replacing the batteries with the same batteries. <laughs> it's, it's a really involved process. It's a reassembly. Oh, here we go. It didn't. A quick search of his pockets revealed he had ni- neither matches nor a lighter, and now his sole source of light was broken. Once You're again, bad at this. His spelunking kit consists of his DS. <laughs> Dude, he should take out his DS and turn that on. Yeah. <laughs> he put the broken flashlight into his hoodie pouch before standing up, his right hand steadying himself against the wall. Standing perfectly still, he tilted his head to the side as he listened for any noises ahead. Oh Apart- man, that Riley guy is a real fuckhead, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know. He just kind of walked off, you know, in the what wrong direction. Asshole. I was thinking of stopping him, but I think w- we both know what the other's thinking. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I think we'd be better without him. Yeah. <laughs> come, come on, Ben. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> there actually was no book. This was all a convoluted plot to kill Riley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, we really need a roundabout way to do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll just have him go missing in action, you know. No blood on our hands. We can just, you know, leave him be. And if he does make it out alive, we'll just say that we searched for him but couldn't find him. We never crossed paths. Alright. It's the perfect murder. (laughs) It's the Uh, perfect crime. Yeah. Apart from his own breathing, he heard no other sounds whatsoever. The darkness was overwhelming. Riley stood there for a moment, waiting for his eyes to adjust, but it didn't help any. God, Riley, you can't even have your eyes adjust to the black Your body you. won't even help you out, bro. Damn. <laughs> you know? Suddenly, he felt his livers die. <laughs> the Mike's yeah. Hard Lemonade took its effect. <laughs> he got a wicked That's hangover. That's what happens when you drink nothing but Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> He couldn't see anything in the pitch black, not even when he waved his hand in front of his face. What a what a schmuck. What a sad, sad little man. What a sad little <laughs> life. Man, if he ever learned how to skateboard, the only trick he'd be able to do would be a sad air. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't even ollie. He'd just have to, like, ride off a cliff and do it. <laughs> do a sad air. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Riley continued walking at a much slower pace than his frenzied oh, you mean running he doesn't from before. Just start running as fast as he can in the pitch black. Get out of here. Yeah. He kept his right hand running against the cold stone wall as he walked, while his left hand moved in front of him. Mm. He, he continually waved it back and forth in front of him to feel for obstacles, but so far there were none. Whew. He Lucky. called out again for Ben a few times, listening for a response each time, but he never got one. Well, he never got a good one. Most of the responses were, Fuck you, Riley! It's He could almost hear snickering coming from around the corner, but he brushed <laughs> it off. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what happens when Nicholas Cage snickers. He's just like, oh, oh, oh. After an hour of slowly walking along the drafty corridor, he finally came to a stop. He had given up. It was yeah. over. He sat down and resigned himself to his fate. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Fan Letters. And we'll... <laughs> no. At the end of the hallway was a large wooden door. He felt around for the doorknob and managed to pull it open, though it was incredibly heavy by Riley standards. <laughs> it was probably like a pound or so, you know. When he'd pulled it open, he found a musty-smelling set of wooden stairs that led upwards. Do you mean musky? No, musty. Uh, no, Do they still like must? Sure. There was still no light, so he felt his way up the long set of stairs, know? much How like he'd done with there the... If he couldn't see him, I guess he felt them. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah. He can. He can feel wood. It's like <laughs> wooden echolocation. <laughs> Uh, there was still no light, so he felt his way up the long set of stairs, much like he'd done with the corridor behind him. At a snail's pace... He's going slow, have you figured it out yet? At last, the stairs ended, and he found himself pulling open another equally heavy door. Unfortunately, he slipped and fell down the stairs. Watch as it was a push door the whole time. (laughs) This time, Riley was met with a fantastic sight. Light! A small electric light bulb buzzed quietly behind its metal cage on the ceiling of the room he'd just entered. Oh, little apostrophe, you were so close to being in the right place. Although the light it produced was actually quite dim and yellowish, Riley shut his eyes tightly upon entering the room because his eyes had been so adjusted to the pitch black. Once he was able to open them again properly, he got a good look of his surroundings. Wait, you mean his eyes actually adjusted to the pitch black? Get out of here. Yeah. 
He was standing in a basement of a building, filled with odd ends of broken furniture, and boxes stacked on one corner of the room. <laughs> Not <laughs> odds just, and ends, but odd <laughs> ends. Like <laughs> really odd ends. Like, re- like really bizarre yeah. parts of furniture. <laughs> just the ends of them, and they're kind of weird, you know? It's like a chair, doesn't have the seat, just has the legs, but they've got these weird little carved patterns on them, you know? Yeah, it's well, like it's an odd t- end of like the this, broken furniture. It's like this end table, but it's just... Uh, the it's end. just a butt. It's no, literally dude. just the end of the table. <laughs> <laughs> they appeared to have cut it off, you know, at the you know, past the legs. I love how there's they're, boxes stacked up in one corner, and I guess yeah. all the other corners are empty. There's just boxes. Well, they're <laughs> filled with odd ends of There's just furniture. all these boxes odd in ends. one corner. Like they looked around and said that corner is gonna be the box corner. Well maybe maybe the boxes held the odd ends of furniture <laughs> and they'd unpacked, you know? <laughs> maybe the boxes held up that end of the <laughs> Oh my god, they're actually a load-bearing column. <laughs> uh, part of me is asking, where the fuck are they? Where is he? But I guess we'll figure that out, you know? It's just oh, weird yeah. to have something go straight into, like, the underground ruins or whatever. There were a few pieces of garbage on the floor, and the poor lighting made everything look incredibly creepy. Oh, dude, I could. I, he, yeah, I if like, anyone was going to be don't... creeped out by a basement, it would be Riley. Yeah. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's just a wrapper. At the far end of the room, beside a pile of wooden crates, was a steel door with a push bar. Riley grinned at the sight <laughs> before walking towards it. He pushed tentatively on the bar, and much to his delight, he found that it was unlocked. After another flight of stairs, he was faced with two identical-looking doors. Did he get he... trapped inside an SCP or something? <laughs> I don't know. He just keeps is... going up the stairs, and there's a door, and then there's stairs, is this and there's his... a door. Is this his ultimate test or something? <laughs> <laughs> in front of in front of the wooden I door in front of an SCP. Yeah, it. seriously. It's like the endless stairs. <laughs> He's gonna open up in the in the the fucking uh, what is it the the concrete baby thing's gonna be there. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, the concrete baby. Uh, <laughs> he had no idea which was the door that could lead him to Ben, so he Flight went with door, door number oh, one. You can only go through one of them. You can't yeah. go through the other. All right, folks, our next contestant is Riley Poole. Riley Poole, you Hi. must decide which door is which. Oh, I'm going to go through the door number one. See if that leads that to That is Lynn. an excellent choice, Riley. <laughs> it leads you to a pit of sharks. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Riley, <laughs> Riley opened the door and stepped in. Ben? He called Why out. Why does he think Ben's going to be here? Ben is all he knows in the world. (laughs) Ben is, he's regressed to the point of, like, infancy. Ben's the only word he knows. Yeah. Oh my god. (laughs) He called out before gaping at the scene in front of him. (laughs) He just, just full goatsy. He'd walk... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he oh my the God. Yeah. <laughs> there was the guy doing goat seat. <laughs> no, that was Ben. No, that was Riley. Yeah, he was Riley gaping was at the, the scene. guy doing goat seat. He gaped. <laughs> oh. He'd walked into a diner. An old-looking diner with ripped cushions and a tired-looking waitress staring at him curiously. All right, seriously, it's like he stepped into a surreal like like, 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 Dear Esther sort of thing. No, dude, it's yeah. a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, damn. What's it's going Riley's on? fever dream. Riley's, Riley's, like, stepped out of, like, the, he's entered the Twilight Zone is what it is. He's gonna step out and he's gonna be in the past and he's gonna have to fix something in his past. This is more confusing than the ending of Sucker Punch. As he had called out Ben's name upon entering, all of the customers had like turned their heads toward him. Most of them were elderly couples out for Sunday lunch with a few families strewn amongst them. I guess the couples weren't a family. He was scanning the table for any familiar faces when the waitress walked over to him and stood in front of him. You look like a right mess. (laughs) There you go. She told him. If you need to wash up, there is a bathroom just down there. All right. She pointed it out to him. I need my diaper changed. Yeah. Wee wee. Hopefully this yeah. is a wee. self-service station. Wee wee. <laughs> if not, you're gonna have to come back here and help me out. No. <laughs> <laughs> he then realized why people were still staring at him once he'd looked down at his clothing to see all the dust and dirt that had gathered on his jeans and hoodie. 
Not to mention the bloody knee and palms. That did not need to be its own sentence. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even capitalized. It's like yeah. she meant to put a comma there and hit the period oh, That's because it's not really to be mentioned. <clears throat> I'm looking for my friend. His name is Ben. Ben Gates. He's older than me, about 40, kind of tall. Would have been with another guy around the same age. Probably told me. her, <laughs> all in one breath, still scanning the crowds hopefully. Crowds, although he already he's... knew at that point that Ben was obviously not here. Yeah, Matt, this is the world's largest diner. It's <laughs> like a state fair in a diner. It's so many people. Yeah. <laughs> There's crowds of people. Not one crowd, multiple crowds. Yeah. No, I don't think I saw anyone like that. She murmured before putting a hand on his shoulder. Hey, hey, mommy. Would, you, would you like spam? <laughs> <laughs> I got spam. Uh, I'm sorry. Kate, are you okay? Are you in some kind of trouble? <laughs> she had a concerned parent type look on look, her I'm face. I'm not a kid, all right? Look, I'm, I'm like 25. Yeah, dude. I'm a face. grown up, he said. As he pulled out his DS and started playing his yeah. game. He was like, I'm a grown up. I'll prove how old I am. Give me a, give me a Mike's Heart <laughs> Lemonade. Look how good I am at Kirby. Could a kid be this good at Kirby? Yeah. <laughs> I've caught all 150 Pokemon. Riley took a deep, shuddering breath before answering her. We were searching the underground tunnels, and now Ben is gone. I need to find him. I was supposed to meet him ages ago, but I got lost. <laughs> God, this Little voice fits too bag. well. Yeah. The whole time Riley was trying to explain the story to her, she was gently pushing him over to an empty seat. Sit to down. Get him to, to get him to take his afternoon nap. <laughs> Look, I know, I know you're tired. This seat's pretty comfortable. It's padded. Oh, gently it pushing him over to a <laughs> gently pushing him over to an empty seat as she prepared the rope. <laughs> oh my God. No, she's just going to tie him down. <laughs> he sat down on the vinyl-covered bench and slouched back a little. She left for a minute before returning with a mug of hot chocolate and a first date. <laughs> this is kit. going on your tab, just so you know. Yeah. Could oh, you put really some think he's vodka a in this? I'm old. <laughs> oh, God. She handed Riley the hot drink, who took it gladly. Thanks. He muttered before taking a sip. After a few gulps, he started to feel the warmth of the drink spread throughout his entire body. <laughs> Ooh, I see. Um, um, this is, I'm getting this weird, warm feeling, um, in my tummy. Normally oh, it goes to my dick, normal. but I ripped that off. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind, I just peed. <laughs> 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 Shit. We are overdoing this so much. <laughs> no, man. No. Yeah. No, dude. Riley's just that much of a child. <laughs> when he was done, he took the first aid kit into the bathroom and used it to clean out the dirt from his knee before putting a band-aid on it and one oh. of his hands. I, he would he would put a single band-aid on it? Yeah. Well, well it, it shows a, how it was bad a, of an injury it is. <laughs> it was a triple XL size band-aid. You know, one of those giant one. ones. Yeah. Yeah. He spent a few minutes trying to shake the dust out of his clothes. Just. <laughs> <laughs> There's like dust and going everywhere, and he's like. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and wiping most of it off his face. When he re entered the diner, he felt Alet more clean and a lot less desperate. <laughs> How do you go Alet and then a lot? I don't know. <laughs> They're no. so close to each other. <laughs> Come on! Uh, it had now been a few hours since he'd seen Ben. He needed access to a computer and a phone. He went to the counter and returned the first aid kit to the waitress. When he took out his wallet to pay, he was surprised when she shook her head. Uh. It's on the house! Don't worry about it! But I'm worried! <laughs> she told him, smiling at looked down at her name tag pinned to her blouse. Martha. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, Martha. <laughs> he told her, returning the smile. As he was heading out the door, she called out to him. Good luck finding your friend! Comma. End of chapter. So, what what happened in this chapter? Let's run, run down. Uh, uh, nothing. Nothing well, happened in this Riley chapter. Tried I think to... plenty happened. Um, Riley was no help on the expedition. 
decided he was going to go wait in the car, got lost despite the fact that they had marked the way back to the car, took off running for no reason, fell down and broke the flashlight, walked in the dark, and then somehow, we, like, <laughs> found a, 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 a flight of stairs that led to a diner, was babied, and then left. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, that was probably, like, heaven or something. Riley's straight up dead. Like, he ain't coming back. <laughs> like, he's gonna leave... That reminds me of that Christian movie that takes place at a diner where everyone meets Jesus. Yeah. Alright, let's see what Ooh. happens in chapter 6. Riley wanted to find Ben, but he didn't have anything on him to achieve that goal. What am I gonna do? How is he gonna reach Ben? We need your help. And the prom is tomorrow. Yeah. His We're the Riley Pools. You can be one too, because being a bitch is the thing to do. <laughs> if anyone gets that reference, please do, or else it won't make a lot of sense. <laughs> his cell phone and his laptop were all sitting in Ben's car. Which has now been long gone. He knew that Ben still had his phone on him, so after he left the diner, the first thing he did was look for a payphone. Ask to use the diner's phone. No, nah. he's like, I'm at a payphone, trying to call trying Ben. Trying to call Ben. He's at a, I he's need at a, to pick me up. He's at a broken payphone dirty. with money in his hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unf uh, he dialed Ben's number and hoped that he would pick up. Unfortunately, it went straight to voicemail. Ben probably didn't have service in the underground catacombs of Delaware. Wait, look how horrible this message is. Like, this is so unhelpful. Ben, uh... Uh, hey, this is Riley. Where are you? I'm outside this diner. You can't call me back because I left my phone in your car. Uh, I'm going to the library, so if you're looking for me, uh, go there. Bye. He's going At to the library. He was going to the library. Yeah. <laughs> He's going yeah. to the, the library. I'm outside this diner. Why not give him some landmarks, a street name, something? It would have been <laughs> worse. He could have just said, hey, come pick me up. Bye. <laughs> Click. I think so. When he was done leaving the message, he hung up the phone. A quick search of the phone book gave him the library's address. Riley quickly flipped his hood up before he started walking. Now that he was out of the tunnels... I walk these he... empty oh. streets on yep. the bull. <laughs> now that he was out of the tunnels, he realized how cold it was getting. Burr. Leaves were flying entirely... Leaves were flying in tiny swirling eddies up the street, making skittering sounds across the pavement. He tugged on the drawstring of his hood, then buried his hands deeply into the front pouch of his shirt. Only to realize he wasn't wearing one. Yeah. He'd this left it. Like he took all his clothes off and put none of them back on. <laughs> He'd left it in Ben's car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the whole they're time like, he's in the diner, he's just stark naked. Yeah, they're like, should we uh, mention that he uh, forgot his clothes? And like, nah, man, he'll figure it out eventually. That's the problem, I don't think he will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the time he'd finished walking the six blocks, his hands were a bit numb. What is it like minus ten? Is it is he getting frostbite? His smooth baby skin can't handle this mild cold. He nearly ran into the library, heading straight to the what? bank of computers. What was he not heading for it if he nearly ran into it? Was it yeah, like it, it, Well it's, no, it's, whenever he wants to go somewhere he takes off and like a oh, run. No, it surprised him. <laughs> He was like, he was like going, and he's like walking, he's like, oh shit, the library's in front of me, whoa, and he swerves. He, almost he hits swerves, him. the library swerves, they both <laughs> narrowly miss each other. <laughs> he nearly ran into Whoa, that was a close one, I almost hit that library. <laughs> the library's like honking the horn, like, you asshole. <laughs> what was that thing doing in my way, man? They should really put up signs for it or something. Uh, he signed one out for the remainder of the hour. It didn't take long before he had before he had a hit on the GPS on Ben's cell phone. Oh man, I forgot he's he's like a in the you can't tell from all this but in the movie he's like the computer guy. It looked like yeah. Ben, oh, yes. It looked like Ben must have checked his voicemail already because the GPS showed that he was heading up the same street that the library was located on. I'm glad he knew he was going to the library. The library. The Delaware library. <laughs> the one, the only. Riley quickly logged off the computer and rushed outside. A few Ooh. minutes later, Gotta Ben's car fast. slowed down and pulled up at the curb. 
Peter was riding shotgun, so he opened Riley fire had... on Riley. <laughs> so Riley had to get in the bitch seat. Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Peter was riding shotgun, so Riley opened the passenger door and slid in onto his lap. Yeah, <laughs> he's sitting on fucking Peter's lap or something. Well, he's what? just a baby. I mean, <laughs> they're just impressed he figured out how to use a computer. He probably got one of those like toddler computers. You know, the ones on the real computer? Look, he tries to blame them. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Damn, you guys ditched me. Holy lord, it's freezing out there. We've been looking for you for quite some time, Riley. You ditched us. No. I was in the tunnel and I wandered off. When I came back, you guys were gone. And then my flashlight broke, and I was down there forever. And it was so creepy and dark. I was worried about you guys. Man, I thought you ditched me there. My God, that that whiny voice worked so well. You got lost <laughs> off the marked trail. Yeah, because you didn't want to stay around and help. Like he's like we don't even have to try. He's so useless. Guys, Why is he the main character? Guys, 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 I think it's about time we bring this back. Hashtag what a cunt. No joke. Yep. Damn. <laughs> well, I guess we did, but not purposely. Peter heard you say you would meet us at the car, so we went to find you. But you weren't there. They've been looking around for you all over the area. When you called my voicemail, I drove straight to the library to pick you up. See, they didn't even entertain the thought of Riley still being in the tunnels, because they figured no one would be that stupid. <laughs> to get lost on their It was a trip. straight line. From them to the car, he probably, like, took a left. Well, there was none he was, or Because yeah, he was playing black and white. Yeah. Everyone was really hungry at this point, so they drove around the neighborhood looking for a place to eat. They ended up back at the same diner that of Riley course. had entered earlier, looking for Ben and Peter. Guess the issue of looking for the book, nothing came out of it or whatever? No, dude, or they is just that gave just up. not important? That they just gave up. Not important like next to Riley's safety and them filling their tummies. <laughs> Jesus. Who, I mean, does well, anyone even man. pack a lunch? Yeah. Is, is packing a lunch legal in Baltimore? Are you allowed to do that? Oh, is it Baltimore? I've been saying Delaware. I think it is Baltimore shit. It is Baltimore. Yeah. When they came in and sat down, Martha smiled in recognition at Riley. She handed out menus. Looks like you found your friends. God damn. <laughs> Martha, <laughs> time. Martha told him, passing him a menu. He nodded, while uh -huh. both Peter and Ben looked from Martha to Riley quizzically. I found my daddy and my daddy. <laughs> yeah. Ow! <laughs> After she had walked away, Peter turned to Riley. What was that about? Riley then told them briefly about how he'd spoken to her earlier, after he'd exited the tunnel. It'd be hard to tell through that, the secret, like, not briefly. Like, through the secret hatch in the back of the diner, you're not gonna bring that up? No, all the important parts are not important, and all the not important parts are the important parts. The unlock secret passage, I'd like to add. Like, yeah. there's no lock on these doors. Also, there were two identical doors. What went through the other one, huh? Jeez, what was through the other? You know what? I guarantee you, through the other one is where the book is. Like, they're going to finally get back there in, like, the second to last chapter. I'm calling it, it now. Set, I think it was just a set of double doors, and he just got... Like, oh, yeah, that's so probably it. Was. Two identical doors. Dude, no, I bet you anything through the other one was a free car! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They enjoyed a meal of club sandwiches and rhubarb pie with their God coffee. Damn. Yeah, they had, delicious Americana? I mean, they had the most pie. 50s lunch ever, apparently. Like, who, who, who coffee? Makes, where do you find rhubarb pie? I nah, know. dude, I, I eat that all the time. Where do you find rhubarbs anymore? Riley made sure to give her an extremely generous tip after their meal to pay her back for her kindness as well as the free drink he'd received earlier. Little did he know, that was like yesterday's hot he, cocoa. He, he, brought, he asked Ben if he could have his piggy bank, cracked it open on the table and said, you keep that. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours, wink. Ben was like, well, Riley, if you're going to throw away your savings like that, I guess you're not going to be good enough to receive allowance anymore. But no. Ben, I want that allowance. You're going to have to Ow. earn it, young man. 
<laughs> You're right. gonna have to earn it, young man. <laughs> that was uh, another episode of Fan Letters, where mm-hmm. Riley once again proved how incompetent and worthless he really is. We don't even have oh to my try. God. Yep. So join us next time as we take on the next two chapters, seven and eight. <laughs>